good afternoon. Yeah, it is. Yep, it is afternoon. It's much later than I normally start these things, but <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. So uh, last week we made this uh, bridge to go over the tracks to uh, get fuel from the refinery part of the section of the of the of the diorama to the actual track structure, which is down here in front. And so I just wanted to quickly show you that finished, so that you could see it. So here it is. We got three pipes, and I don't know if that'll focus or not, but uh, three valves across the top. The uh, the frame is printed or painted in a sort of a gunmetal, and the pipes are painted in uh, in chrome. So that's what we did last week, and that's what it looks like. It fits right on the layout. Uh, let me we'll go back to me. It fits right on the layout right over here, and I have. Uh, I've already bent uh, some brass feeder tubes to uh, fit into the three that come out of here. And on this side, they're not going to be anything. It's going to go right into the ground and into the, uh, into the, uh, the filler unit for the, for the cars. So I said last week that we would be working over on the, uh, on the land. Well, uh, order of operations dictates that I can't do that. Um, because I want to put lights on this thing. <laughs> And I've got a little battery pack here. I'm just going to separate this out. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm just going to show you what I did. Now, this took me all of, uh, oh, geez, I'd say 40 minutes to get one little light in here. So we're not going to spend a ton of time here. Now, let me get this other one here, this other lead. Now I got this this particular light I got from Evans uh, Design, and uh, can you see that? Let me uh, hold on. Let me just I'm just gonna wrap it around here, and I'm gonna. I think you might be able to see. I don't know if you can or not, but there's a flashing red light right here where my finger is. Uh, right down here. Uh, so that's camera 7. I wonder if camera 7 might be a better bet. Let's try camera 7 here. There you go. There you go. You can see it. So that little light uh, took a little while to put in. First of all, I had to drill out the top of this. And then I had to drill out the base so that I could get it through. And uh, these little flashers come with a, a little circuit that's in the already attached and everything and, and sealed in shrink wrap, uh, sh shrink tube stuff. And unfortunately, uh, that makes it very difficult to put in because you have to have a tiny hole up here at this end and a huge hole down at the bottom. So I was using a little tool that I bought thanks to uh, Kathy Millett and, and, and her, uh, her channel this little grinder and so what I did was I drilled a small hole in the base and then holding it up to the light so I could see through the base I ground out the bottom so that this thing is hollow all the way down right to the bottom so that's what what I did before we started the video whoops gotta turn it off and uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do with this video now we're not gonna do a lot of these lights. I've got eight lights to put in here, and I don't want them want that to be uh, too long and boring. So I've got one in here right now. I'm just going to show you it. It's a constant, so it means it's always on. And I'm just going to again. I got this little little three volt battery pack, and I'll do I'll do a couple just to show you how I do it. So there's one lead. That's the blue lead. Now I need the red lead. Yeah, no, uh, I think it's because these things are from China. There you go. Now I'm going to have to move this. But there, you can see the light right there. You can see it flickering. Now it's a constant on, and it's going to sit right there on the top. And I'm going to have eight of these lights across the top here. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, I did a practice. 
I did this for one as practice so that we could uh, we could have some kind of success doing this. So the first thing was to flip this on its end. Uh, I'm going to turn it this way for you. And then to draw out where all the lights are going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights. And then I took this little drill and it has different drilling speeds. I bumped it up to where it should be and then I just took it and... Now oh, can you see me doing this? You can see my hand doing this. Now this is just a little USB drill and it doesn't have a lot of juice. Uh, I mean it's not like your, your big uh, Milwaukee. So you have to go a little slower at the drilling and I've got my glasses on, I only need to see them far away, but I had to have them on to check the monitors. So here we're going to... Now this isn't probably a great advertisement for this thing, but it's not really meant as a drill, it's meant as a grind. There we go, one more through. So what I did is I marked out these, these holes so that I knew exactly where they were going to be. The next thing I did was I got a piece of florist wire. I'm going to slide that over here. And I'm going to go to uh, preview 6 and go to 6. Now we're looking straight down on top. So here. So I got this piece of, of florist wire. And I bent a little loop in the end. And that's going to catch the LED. So let me just get... Now the LEDs I got from, I think I got them from Wish. I bought 50 of them, not realizing that I already had some, but it doesn't matter that there's going to be lights all over my layout and uh, you're going to see them, in, they're all going to get used regardless. So the first thing is to take the, uh, the LED out of the, the bag, obviously. And then if you look at the ends of these, and I don't, I don't think this is, it's possible for you to see this, uh, I don't know if you can see my hand. I've got I've got the wires in my hand. And these things have the tiniest, tiny, tiny, tiny wires, and they're covered in an insulation. And I have yet to find a tool where that'll strip these like regular wire strippers. I'm going to go back to one. So what I do is take the wire. And I take my creme brulee torch, for lack of a better term, but that's what it is. It's it's for creme brulee. It's not for, for this. And I just hit hit the wire a little bit, a little bit of flame, just to melt the uh, the insulation. Then I use my nails and I pull pull off the burnt burnt insulation. The uh, if you leave it on too long, it will melt the wire and the insulation. So you got to be just, you got to be gentle, and you got to make sure you're far enough away that just melted the wire. As soon as that wire starts to glow, you got to stop because you'll burn a hole right through it. So there we go. Now we got that clean as well. Now I'm going to put on my reading glasses so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so now I have two pieces of clean wire. The rule in lighting, as far as I'm concerned, is test everything before you put it in. So, I don't know why, but the Chinese insist on having most of the stuff that you buy here in North America has a red and a black wire to it. And That makes it easy because almost everything works out to be like that. So what I've done here is I've just put the red on the red here. But the other wire, for some reason, is blue. It's probably the cheapest wire they use, they can find, so that's why they use it. And now I'm just going to... I'm going to... Now, you see, we've got to make sure that we're, we've got this... Let me see. There it goes. 
and just twisting it together. These will all be soldered. Come on, baby. Light up. There are three fold uh, LEDs. Like I say, test everything. It keeps flickering, so I know. Oh, there it is. There. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to install this individual light uh, in the uh, in the refinery structure itself. So I know it works. So I'm going to separate it again from the battery pack, put the battery pack aside. And now we're going to put this light in the in the structure. So I'm going to go, I think I think we'll go, yeah, we'll go where the preview is. So here we are. This is uh, this is my left side here. I'm going to uh, turn this over. I'm going to take the uh, the florist wire, and it fits through the hole I drilled, and it should should go all the way through, and it does. Okay. So it's gone. I don't know the way before we start a fire here. It's gone all the way through, but it's not where I want it to be. So I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to play with it until it comes up where I want it to be. And I'm looking down inside here. There we go. That's where we want it. Right there. So now that's, uh, that's through. So now the uh, the LED, the head of the LED, which is under a millimeter in size. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not. I'm going to put it up. It might show up better on uh, on, a, on a bigger screen. So it's a tiny little thing. It's you know a millimeter if it is is uh, anything in size. So I'm going to take this. And put it in a little loop I made. And what am I doing? I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Let's 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 start that over again. It goes this way. In through the bottom loop out. Okay. Okay. That's going to make it easier, and that was the one thing that was worried. I was worried about. So now, with it separated, which is not what I intended to do, I was going to try and do this with it, with it, with it attached. Now, grab the bulb. It's actually probably going to be easier to do it this way, and then glue that down. So I'm going to, where are we at, where are you watching from? Okay, you're watching, and you'll be able to see what happens here. So now I've got that little loop in the wire. And I'm taking the bulb and just putting it in there. Now because, you know, there are days I wonder why I, why I decided on end scale. This is one of them. When, they, when everything is so small, that that's almost impossible. So I'm pulling pulling the bolt through and it's through. I've got it where I want it. Now the trick here is to turn turn it so the loop comes up sideways between between the two. And then just slide it off and there it is, it's there in place. 
Now I'm going to do maybe one more just so you can see how it's done, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll call it quits because obviously this is going to be a long process if I do all eight. And uh, so we'll do one more just so you can see it. So. careful here. I already got wires in place. I want them to stay in place. I don't want them to get in doubt. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? My, my brain just kicked in. A little bit of super glue. super glue and then I'm going to do the same for this one so it's uh, super glue Now, if I had thought about this when I was building it, I would have drilled these holes and run these wires before I got to this stage. And that was another thing I was, I, I kept reminding myself, I just should tell you this. You cannot paint this thing once it's assembled. Uh, I just don't know how you would do it. So, uh, you want to be painting and moving on, painting and moving on, scratching off the surface so the glue will stick properly uh, if you're using modeling, modeling glue. So here we go again. This will be the last one we do on air. So I'm following along. I see where my, uh, my line of lights is. Push this through. Bring this up. Put it through the base. There we go, through the base. And we'll get another light. And like I say, this will be the last one because I just think this is going to be too much. Um, So then, where, like, um, you won't be able to see, oh, maybe, yes, you'll be able to see it on, what, camera two. Camera two it is, then. So, again, put it on, put it on the loop. So I just open the loop up a bit. Slide the light in place with my shaky hands. That that could be an exercise onto its own. Okay, light is caught. Flip it up. Grab the uh, grab the wire, the forest wire. Get it through the hole. And again, I gotta turn it. Okay, what's it caught? Well, of course it's caught. No, oh, oh, is it caught? Yeah, it's caught on another wire. That's why it's not working. Okay. 
Now, if the gap isn't big enough, you get a pair of tweezers or a scalpel or something and just twist it and it comes right through. And again, take it off the hook. You know where it has to go. You can see it. You can see the bulb right there. Take my super glue. glue down there. And I'm going to just take the scalpel here and slide the, the bulb over into the glue. And I'm going to give it a spritz. So you can see, it, I mean, the process is, is finicky and uh, takes some time. And I'm knocking stuff off my model, which I'm going to have to glue back on. But what's going to happen is uh, I'm just trying to see where we are so you can see it. Oh, no, oh, you can see it if I do this. All the wires are coming out through the bottom here. All the red leads will be, be uh, put together. All the blue leads will be put together. And then there will just be two wires running from the base of the, uh, the model down into the cork and what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to cut a groove in the cork for that uh, for those wires so that they're down and then I will drill a hole in the uh, in the bench work and take uh, a much larger wire this, this stuff here get my glue out of the way so you can see it which I buy in uh, what it? these are 25 foot rolls and they are gauge, okay, sorry, dealing with an old man here who has glasses for everything. I think, they're gauge 30. And that will go down to the, uh, the feeder bus for uh, all of the accessories on the, on the layout. There's, uh, uh, two lines that run around that uh, that uh, feed to a common power supply. Uh, that common power supply has a board. Uh, I'll just go to one. Has a uh, has a board with switches on it, so you can turn on just the refinery, just the. Uh, be, the there's going to be a c cement plant, and you, and we're going to have lights in the uh, in the yard, and there's already lights in the uh, in the quarry. And all of those can be turned on separately, so you don't have to light up the whole. And uh, once we get to building a, the sort of townscape in, in there, the town will be on its own own switch, so we can turn the switch on and the the uh, the, uh, the town will light up. So I want to thank you for watching. Um, as you can see, lots of times I'm just uh, it's an experiment in how to get things done, um, and I'm going to. I'm going to stop the recording here. I'm going to uh, take everything I need and go to my computer and start the process over there for editing. And um, while it's working on getting the transferring files, I'm going to finish this sucker so it's done. And next week you can see how it looks when it's, when it's all lit up. So, again, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And remember, it's your railroad and you can build it any way you want. Uh, so, once again, we'll see you next week.